And two communities have some company at the polls. The U.S. Department of Justice is keeping a very close eye on those towns' elections. 7 Action News investigator Heather Catalo has been watching the polls today and joins us from the west side of the city. So how's it going there, Heather? Well, voting is going very smoothly here at this church, but I did just check in with the U.S. Attorney's Office, and they did receive some complaints about voting problems today. They are in the process of reviewing those. In the meantime, the Department of Justice has had two monitors, one in Detroit, one in Hamtramck. They aren't like armed guards standing over the polling locations. They're just, they have smiles in their faces. They're taking notes. They're observing our process. Hamtramck Deputy City Clerk August Gitchleg says Election Day 2013 is going smoothly, even with the U.S. Department of Justice monitor keeping tabs on his polling places. Do you welcome the oversight? I'm fine with it. Uh, it makes everyone feel better. Uh, everyone's confident that uh, we have a free and fair election. The city of Hamtramck is under a uh, subject to a federal uh, rule about having Bengali uh, ballots and Bengali language requirements for some of our voting materials. They just came to check and see if we were doing it. So we showed them everything we had. We showed them what we're going to do in the future. Introduce them to all of our Bengali poll workers. We could clearly see signs in several languages posted at this Hamtramck polling spot. And voters who agreed to speak to us were pleased the election was being watched. It's just a good thing they put that in play. We rather have, you know, uh, a legal voter, I mean, voter people vote instead of, you know, some people running scams. A spokeswoman for the U.S. Attorney's Office in Detroit tells 7 Action News that every year the Department of Justice deploys staff to observe elections. In Detroit, the NAACP did request Justice Department oversight, but officials say many factors are considered when they decide where to send monitors. One DOJ monitor is also roving between polling places in the city. Vanetta Palmer is glad about that, especially Especially since her mother had some problems voting this morning. The polls were on the second floor of the school and there's no elevators to get up these stairs and there's a lot, a lot of elderly people who live in the area and they couldn't get upstairs and they had to bring several ballots downstairs to them. I think that's unfortunate because you know some people may get discouraged and turn around and not vote at all. The U.S. Attorney also appointed a district election officer. She is the point person for any voting problems in this region. We have information on how to contact her as well as the DOJ in Washington on our website, WXYZ.com. Reporting live on Detroit's west side, I'm Heather Catalo, 7 Action News.